what they prepared you for in 2020 is 2021. Be prepared for what's coming, folks, because things are about to get strange. But what we've seen has just been the preparation for what's actually coming, so hunker down, folks, and get prepared for it. It's an important time to continue to spread information and it's an important time to build your own spiritual and moral strength and be prepared to stand your ground in the face of this, folks, because they're going to keep pushing it. They'll keep pushing it until we push back. But thankfully, we are seeing a large pushback happening. Hope is really not what we need in this current situation, folks. What we need is action. What we need is a plan to shift human consciousness forward. And being as how attention is the most valuable resource on Earth, what we need is a way of making the truth fashionable and trendy. Someone needs to develop a truth app or a truth game, something that's going to reach the children, something that's going to reach the kids, and not just the kids, but reach everybody who's locked into this virtual world and make it fun to look at information that actually helps them rather than information that enslaves them. But whatever it is that we do, we need to be proactive in doing it. There's no good sitting around and hoping for change to come. Hope really is a deceiver, folks, because very often we will sit and hope and really what we should be doing is acting. There's been a lot of people hoping for change rather than actually getting involved and acting themselves on the ground to create that change. And while people are sitting there hoping that something is going to happen, the wheels of the control system steadily roll forward. But hope just never cuts it, folks. You can sit there and hope for your bed to be made all you want, and it's not going to make itself. You can sit there and hope for that garden to be planted, and hope for that food to grow, and it's not going to improve the situation. We need to be involved proactively in our communities to bring these changes about ourselves. And of course, a lot of the problem in this is that people can't even see what it is that the threat is. They can't see what they need to save themselves from. They think it's simply government corruption. It's the same thing, folks. The whole thing is theatre. And the people keep sitting on the sidelines hoping for change and not looking at the bigger picture of what the new world order really is and what the real threat that they're facing is. And so therefore they find it very difficult to know what to do to combat this threat because they're simply not seeing it. They don't see the conveniences they hold in their hand as being any significant problem in their lives, but they are. You know, once you can see the value of yourself and you realize what it means to be a human being, truly what it means to be a human being, then you begin to see authority as the misshapen superstition that it is because nobody has authority over you. People can't just tell you what to do and expect you to sit back and allow the world to be destroyed, yet they do it because we believe in authority, because we don't see the value in ourselves and we place far too much value on other people, on politicians, on celebrities, on people that we think are more important than we are because we've been trained to think that way by the television. Generally, that's what's happened. You know, when you really look at this whole situation and you look at how out of control things have got, you look at how out of control our governments have got, and you look at what the way out of this mess really is, what you see is that this is a time of human responsibility. It really is. It's a time for people to become responsible for themselves. You know, the old saying that with great power comes great responsibility. And the human race certainly has great power at the moment. We have great power at our fingertips. We have huge power, huge potential. We've got so much technology. We can do just about anything we want to do. The only thing that constrains us from doing anything that we want to do is other people, i.e. governments. They control our actions in every shape and every form that they can. And they prevent us from ever expressing our true creative potential. But really, governments are the ones who created the problem to begin with. They're not the ones who should fix it. What needs to happen is we need to start developing some responsibility for ourselves and responsibility for this situation and realise that it's because we've allowed government to take care of things for us to this point that has created this entire scenario and this entire situation. And it's a pretty ridiculous concept thinking that we can look towards these people and expect them to lead us to safety when they're the ones that have led us into this mess, and the reality is that they've done so by design. 
So we've got to start taking responsibility for ourselves, folks, and that's really what this is. It's a time of great power and a time of great responsibility. It's just establishing when humankind is prepared to actually step up to the plate and step into the role that they were born to have. It's a game, folks. The whole thing is a game, the game of life. It's what you choose to do with it. You know, what you choose to do with the path that you're on, the journey that you're on. A lot of people forget that it's about the journey. They forget that they're even on a journey. You know, a lot of people, when they look at life, it's all about collecting stuff and getting to the top of the food chain, getting to the top of the social ladder, all the stuff the television tells them that they need to do and that they need to be, the way they need to dress, all the things they need to have. But all of that is fiction, folks. All of that is to distract you from the journey of you, the art of being you, the path through life that is there for you to discover. You know, that's what all of this stuff is for. It's all to lead you away from all of that, just to lead you away from being you and ever discovering you. So, again, it's a matter of perspective, and I'm just someone who chooses to play the game of life by my own rules. And a lot of people do that. There's a lot of people through history that have always played life by their own rules. And I think that's really the way to succeed in life is to play by your own rules. And when I say that, you know, that may be determined by what your perspective of success is. But to me, success is just being happy. Success is being able to enjoy the journey and be able to experience the journey and realize that you're actually on a journey and to actually make the journey rather than sitting in a place and working in a job that you hate and collecting all this stuff that you don't really need to have this house that you can't take with you when you die. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me to do that stuff, so I don't do it. I do something else. Belief is the enemy of knowledge. You shouldn't be believing all this stuff anyway. You know, it's, it's a journey of discovery, this path through life, and so much is hidden from us. And in regard to the controlling hand, you know, try to really identify who it is and say, yes, you've got it 100%. Well, you really need to establish freedom before you start making those claims because there's so much hidden behind the veil and so much that we just don't know that it becomes just an endless quest that leads nowhere. And what we need to focus on is the problem at hand, which is the lack of freedom, which is the very problem that creates all these rabbit holes to begin with and hides all this information from us to begin with. So if we could deal with that, then we'd be able to answer all the other problems and put all these questions to rest once and for all. You know, and that's been the focus, just trying to empower people into that. That's what I've said so many times, that we need unity in the community. Put common unity back into community. Just have that basic respect for each other. Allow others to think differently so we can all stand up together. I mean, it's a simple thing, but I say it so often because really it is the ultimate answer to all of our problems. And if we can't get that common unity, then we'll never get that common focus. And if we don't get that common focus, then we'll never find a way out. That's why no one can lead you to safety. That's why there's no movement to join. That's why there's no forms to fill out and nothing we can really do. There's no one to vote in, no one to vote out. It's us changing our perspective of what we are and what our relationship with other people is that will change the world. Now, you get that common unity with the people around you. And like I said earlier, it normalizes the politicians. They just become people too, because it's really all just people. That's all that is here. It's just people. It's a social system that we've created whereby we're all supposed to get along with each other and we're supposed to create societies that are actually going to move us forward and, and help things and help the human condition. But we've been locked into this system of people farming. Controlled by governments well, we who don't... manufacture all these worldwide catastrophes and crises everywhere so that we believe we need them to look after us. And it's a scam. The whole thing is a scam. What exists behind the veil? Well, we'll find that out once we can wake enough people up to the scam and we can remove the facade that is controlling us, which again is government. People who are all in abusive office. People that we employ to do exactly the opposite of what they're doing. People that have trained us to forget what our standing in the social food chain actually is, which is above government. These people are our employees, folks. We've just forgotten that. And ultimately, beyond all that, these people are just people. And no people have the right to rule and control the lives of other people. No people have the right to cause harm. And all government does is cause harm. And if you really need evidence to support that claim, well, I say it so many times, folks, Exhibit A, the Earth. Have a look at the place. It's a mess. And it's a mess because of what these people who populate the corridors of power 
do with all this rubbish they write on paper and it's our willingness to go along with it and our misplaced belief in authority that ultimately causes all these problems. So that's why we need that common unity. We need that common focus. We need to remember who and what we are before we ever find a way out of this mess. And as soon as we do that, the whole system has to change around us. The whole world has to change by default. You don't need a new system to come online. You don't need anybody to create a game plan to lead you to safety. You need to change your own personal perspective and ripple that out around you and then the system has to change around you. The system only functions because we tolerate it. The system only functions because we continually abide by rules which cause us to operate outside our moral compass. That is the problem with the system. And as soon as we can step back into our moral compass, then the system has to change. That's why you can't change the system. You can't create a new game plan because people will still think the same. It doesn't matter what you lead them into. You could create the perfect utopia and lead people into that. But if they haven't changed their heart space, that utopia will end up exactly what we've got now. But if they do change their heart space, they don't need to build any other system. This system has to change around them because this system only functions because their hearts are pointed in the wrong direction. People have got the wrong focus. People have got the wrong parameters that they're living by. They're basing their lives according to an economic model, according to social standards, according to social parameters that have been ingrained into them via a corrupt and misplaced education system. People aren't viewing their life from a human perspective. And that's the problem. And as soon as they change that perspective, the world has to change around them. That's the way it works. You know, as insurmountable as all the problems we face seem sometimes, that as well is a fiction. It's just an illusion because really the problems all exist within ourselves. The problems are all due to our lack of focus. They're all due to our loss of self, our loss of belief in ourself, our loss of knowledge of ourself. So that's why the solution is really so simple. In fact, it's so simple that people can't see the forest for the trees. People sincerely believe there must be forms to fill out, there must be a riot to be staged, there must be a revolution to be had. Something must be done, the leaders must be pulled down and new leaders must be put up there, new rules must be written, a new police force must be structured. All these things must be done and people seriously believe it. They can't see the reality of themselves is the problem. They can't see the reality that all that exists on this earth is people. The ones who are controlling this are just people. And that's why it's so difficult to find a way out of this mess, because people are not prepared to look within. People want a fix, but they want someone else to apply the fix. They're not prepared to apply the fix to themselves. They want the world to change, but they won't change themselves for the world to change. And that's the problem. And until people do that, there's not going to be any success at all in any movement that anybody starts. People can come along and say, yes, I've got the big game plan, this is going to lead us to safety, but it's not going to work until people empower themselves. You know, little steps that you can find that may empower people into taking some sort of a stand in their local community that gives them the confidence to rediscover the rest of themselves is probably the best step you can take. It's probably the most hopeful step you can take with people. Pay attention, you know, there's all this stuff going on, but ultimately it's just a game, and it depends on how you play it. But the game of life only has one real set of rules, folks, and that's to do the right thing. So now's the time to do it, folks. Let's all step up to the plate and do the right thing, and let's change the world.